All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Business. Let's bring in one of my good friends, Esperanza from Magnolia Park in Visalia. Esperanza, hi, hello, how are you? Good, good, thank now, you. Now, uh, this assisted living thing, uh, it, it's, getting, it's, it's getting a little difficult because there's so many different ones, it seems like, all of a sudden popping up. What sets Magnolia Park aside from those? We're more of a um, home-like environment. And even though there is 24 beds for assisted and 24 for dementia, Alzheimer care, it's more a house-like, but it's it has the feel of uh, simple elegance, um, where all the care is provided. Um, if there is an X-ray needed, we get it. If it's on site, on site, really. Or if there is um, blood draws, like chemidine blood draws, I will do that is a nurse and is the knowledge and um, the dementia processes that hit and afflict the elderly and is the proactivity in which taking care of them um, maintaining their dignity and their independence while there there's deficits in memory or ability to you know care for their daily needs because it's um, frustrating for them isn't it yes they, yeah. Then they get frustrated and they get upset. They come from a generation where they're very independent, mm -hmm. very frugal, um, and, and that's actually the dignity is at the core of every human being. But when they have some deficits, they know it, but they don't want you to know it. So if you can provide the care, and in order to do that, you have to have the knowledge base to, to give that to them where it's seamless, where you're not, you know, most other facilities, um, if they're able to take care of themselves, they'll do fine for a while, but as soon as they start having deficits, they just send them into the ER. The ER sends them right back, and they're calling family like every 30 minutes, every hour, you know, for to come and help. Whereas in our home, we provide the for the level of care that they're needing, we provide the care needed. Because the dementia thing, it's it's tough. It, uh, I've dealt with it myself, and it's just, in the beginning, it's it's like it's there and it's not there and it's there and it's not there. And but when it's there, it's it's it, it's it's it's, it's, it's a different person almost sometimes sitting in front of you. So the, having the nurses around is really important, isn't it? Yeah, it's like at any given moment to be able to guide the process of the caregiver. And that is the difference between the dignity and not. And, and see is what type of dementia do they have? Do they have, there's 108 different types. And do they have a Louis body type that Robin Williams had that has a little bit of depression or a lot of depression in it? Or, and Casey Kasem had that type of um, dementia where they do remember what they had for lunch or if you came to visit yesterday or not where the Alzheimer's type of dementia, once they forget, that's, that's that. They don't recall it back. But, so that's why sometimes it's hard for caregivers to, um, it's like you're playing games on me. Yesterday you were so clear and today you know, you're not. But there, it's actually not, it's a process. But it's also the part of them that is trying to hold on to their dignity and their independence. Tell me, tell me about the property. The property, um, it's, it has an awesome garden, and like that's where we do our therapy walks. Um, it's when you come in, it's a high ceiling. Um, it's, it has a dining room where we have all our banquets. We have a little chapel. So it's a little elegant, huh? Yes, it, it is. It is nice. Yeah, lots of flowers, mm -hmm. even in right now. Is that kind of stuff important? The flowers, the Very. garden, the walking, and is, is that important in keeping them a little sharp? It's also therapeutic. It's important because most of them have flowers in the garden, and they take a lot of pride in the garden. Um, so when you do it, or they help you do the garden, or even we have vegetable gardens also and along the side How that fun. they take ownership of. But we also have like a walkway all wrapped around. And they can have their own TV, own little refrigerator, mm -hmm. microwave in the room. And so. now, what about entertainment? What do you what do you do with them? 
Well, uh, they all have different, um, we bring some musicians in, we have piano players come in, our activity director sings, so we encourage them to sing. They all know their older songs, mm -hmm. they know all the words to them, and the older hymns. Um, so we, like, we had Thanksgiving last week for all our families, and we have the senior singers come sing, like, all these songs. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Um, and yeah, and you can probably just see them light up. Yeah, we pull the china out in the silverware, and they feel very elegant and very special. My grandmother was was in one in, in San Jose when I was a kid, and uh, they had a dining room set off to the side, and once a month we'd go over there, and they just we just have our own family in this little room, and that just made such a big difference to her. It made her feel it made her feel a little bit like when when. when we were children, and it was her house, and we yeah. would have dinner over at her house. So she, we, we had that room. It really made her feel huge. Yes, you know? and th those moments are very important, and that's really good when you can do that. Now, it, how, what's the cost? Well, it depends on the level of care, but interesting to find out, the doctor was telling me the other day, like in the nursing homes that also have rehab, for the same cost, that they would pay for our home in a private room just to themselves. They, they're they paying it in the nursing home, only they're sharing it with two other people. Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference. They're getting better care within our home. More privacy. More specialized. And they're paying private at the nursing home. Whereas, you know, and with us, we um, involve all our family members in the care. But we're not calling them at work every day, every hour, you know, come into this or that. We, um, like if take them to the doctor, we take a detour to a very healthy place. Like if they want to go A&W, then we'll stop by A&W. <laughs> Provided they're not diabetics, you know. Where are you so, located in Visoya? It's off of Lover's Lane on Douglas, 2950 East Douglas. If people are thinking about maybe by moving their loved ones into a assisted facility like this can they come by and check it out sure they're welcome anytime yeah. to come and take a tour awesome yeah what's the phone number over there six two five six zero zero one okay esperanza happy thank you. holidays to you thank always you. good to thank see you, you. you uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break we'll be right back <laughs> 